trainer Freddie Roach. Freddie, good to see you again. Um, here for uh, Explosivo Machado's media workout. He's taking on Andrew Cancio, um, a tough fight that we're going to be seeing on February 9th. I'd like to get your thoughts on how training camp has been going with uh, Machado. Machado's doing really well. I mean, he's getting better and better each fight. I think in his last fight he showed a lot of growth and uh, in training for this fight we've had great sparring and he's getting better and better all the time and uh, he, I think he's going to be the most feared 130 pounder in the world pretty soon. Really? Okay, well, I, w I want to get back to that point, but I, I want to get your thoughts on um, from the time that you've been training them, what improvements have you seen in Machado so, uh, so far? Uh, you know, distance, timing, combinations, uh, everything. We, we work on all aspects, uh, ring generalship, and uh, he's just improving all, all around in, in all ways, and he's becoming a really, really natural, great fighter. Yeah, I, I, I think... Um, I love to unify this division because at 130 right now you get some really really hot prospects and hot fight, good very great fighters. Well, I mean, you said it yourself. We want to see those unification fights as well. Um, we have uh, Tank Davis. That would be a very exciting fight. Would you like to see that with Machado? Yeah, I mean, Tag Davis is very, definitely someone in, that's in our way, and um, you know he's a. Uh, uh, mm, I think more verbally, he's, they, they talked about how great he is and so forth, but um, I don't think he has anything on my guy. Though. You think uh, Machado would be able to, you're 100% sure he could uh, beat Tank Davis? Yes. Yeah. Well, hopefully that fight can happen. Um, no. <laughs> well, we also have um, Burchell. That would be a great Mexican-Puerto Rican fight, don't you think? Of course, it is. Uh, you know, the matchups are really, really good, and uh, the top level of 30 pounders right now is one of the hot hottest divisions out there. All we need is like these promoters to work together, and we'll again have the best sport in the world if they if we have the best fight, the best. Yeah, I mean, sometimes the promoters are the, the the ones that are getting in the way, but Tevin Farmer is in the division, and he works with The Zone. That would be a very uh, interesting fight as well. Yeah, Farmer is a very good prospect, again, but, uh, you know, um, is he, you know, he's, he's good, but, I mean, I think my guy is much better. <laughs> Um, with Machado, he's right now recognized as one of the top fighters from Puerto Rico, and you've had one of the best in history with Miguel Cotto. Do you see any similarities between both of them? Yeah, he's, he is a great fighter, and I, I think potentially he has he has potential to go all the way and, be, and unify these titles and even move up from 135 because you know, he is a big 35, 30 pounder. And uh, but we make weight pretty, pretty easily, and uh, but 30 30 is not, not a struggle yet. But it's yeah. maybe um, 35 could be a more interesting division. But we like to clean this one up first. <laughs> well, so then in, if, if we were to move up to 135, in how many fights do you think maybe that could happen? And what are those names in 135 that you like? Well, the thing is, I, I, I like a lot of the 35 pounders, of course. But the thing is, uh, right now, the, the better competition is at 30 right now. So unify the titles, and uh, that's something we, we want to do and have to I think have to, and then move up. Um, when, when, when we're ready for 35, but the thing is, you know, the better division is 30 right now, and uh, the competition is great, and um, it's the best and the best. Like, let's let's get it on. I know you got to get going. So my last question: um, I didn't get to talk to you during the Pacquiao fight week, so I wanted to know your thoughts on Canelo and Jacobs. What do you think about that fight? And now that Triple G has signed with the Zone, how do you see all those three names mixing up? It's very good. I mean, Canelo and Jacobs is a great fight. You've got a great uh, boxer fighting a great, uh, good puncher, and uh, it's very competitive fight. Who's gonna pull it off, like the the boxer or the puncher? And uh, it's uh, you know, just owns a big. Uh, um, Name and boxing now, and so forth. And but I'm not the type of person who's had a stream yet, so I don't see their fights. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Uh, Freddie, thank you so much for your time. Good luck on fighting with Machado. Okay. I'm gonna learn how to stream one of these days. <laughs> I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. Thank you.